name's Keith Rucker. Today we got just a real quick and dirty job here and I thought we'd make a shoot a quick video on how to set up a vise on a milling machine. Uh, this is a very basic machine shop stuff but some people may not know how to do this so I'm going to take a few minutes and show you how I will set up a vise on a milling machine. Now the trick to setting a vise up on a milling machine is, is you want the jaws of the vise to be parallel with the table so that as you move the table in and out it will move exactly parallel and you won't uh, it won't be cocked at all. If the vise is off even just a couple of thousandths if you drill a hole here and you move the table over uh, three or four inches and drill another hole it won't be perfectly in line with the edge of the piece of that you're working on. So it's always important that you get your your uh, your vise set up so that it is perfectly square on the table. To do that I'm going to use this uh, last word indicator made by Sterrett. Uh, really most any kind of indicator could be could work here uh, as long as you can get it in there a little button style this one works real well it has a little finger that kind of comes down here and uh, allows you to get down into an area such as this vise okay this is the stare at last word indicator and I've just got it mounted into the a collet on my uh, mill it could be in the drill chuck there's no reason to put it in a collet per se just something to hold it here and I'm using one of the holders that came with the set that actually allows me to bend it out to 90 degrees and I have it in here uh, this little ball down here uh, as you can see it's when you move it in and out it's got just a little bit of play it's only got about 30 thousandths travel in it which is plenty to do a vice obviously for something that has a lot of run out this would not be the indicator to use but for something small and precise uh, and this hasn't got a lot of run out it is a great tool for that so I have my vise cranked over to the very edge of the vise on one side or the other it really doesn't matter which side but one side or the other because you want to measure this much travel as you can and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the cross slide and I'm going to pull this out until it touches and I'm going to set that indicator on zero okay now uh, we're just going to crank the table over to the other side of the vise. I'm going to use the auto feed here, uh, save a little bit of cranking, and we'll get a measurement on the other side. Okay. Notice that wasn't real smooth going across there. We had a little bit of irregularities in it. And that's normal because this vise is not perfectly ground smooth. Uh, most vices aren't. And it isn't absolutely necessary that it be that way. If there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, of dents or whatever in there, it's probably good to, to grind those. But don't be too bit of an alarm when you see it moving around. You're really looking for that, the total amount of movement from one side to the other. And on this, it looks like we're at about three and a half thousandths out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a little uh, rubber hammer here and I'm just going to tap my edge of my vise over until it gets to zero. And again, I have my vise just loosely uh, tightened on the table. It, it is tight, but not so tight that I can't bump it around. But it is fairly tight, tight on there. Uh, and we'll finish tightening it up once we get it set. So back on zero again, just bumped it over to zero. I'm going to go back to the other side and we'll measure it again. and looks like I'm still about a thousandth and a half out. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to re-zero it and I'm going to, I like to work off of one edge and not the other. When I start trying to adjust from both ends, things a lot of times get out of whack in a hurry. So I'm just going to re-zero this and we'll go back to the other edge and we'll tap it over from that side. Okay, so there we are again, reading about two thousandths this time, and tap it over to zero, and we'll go back to the other side again and check it again. And we're right on the money, so now I'm just going to take my wrench, tighten the vise down, and voila, we have our vise set to zero and running parallel on the table. 
So there you go. That's my method of truing up a vise on a milling machine. Uh, it's really quite simple and straightforward. I uh, just need a good indicator to put on there and do it. It doesn't take very long. Uh, it takes a little bit of a practice. I've done this many times and I've, I've kind of figured out how to do it. It may take you a little longer to do one for the first time, but once you figure it out, it's pretty easy to do from there out. Thank y'all for watching.